This is your final project. There's some pressure here. I put a lot of work into that. Thought a lot about my daughter. I always swore that I'll be there, but then life takes a turn. The project you chose? A prison cooking documentary. One of the one ways to cook a noodle. And you're gonna have to make it come to life. It's about a series of dams. Did you think about doing a more personal story? My story's insignificant. Everything's on the line here. I killed a man. I'm paying a price for what I did. You only have this much time to make your thing, man. Deportation or remove the United States has been ordered. My production is kind of an Iron Chef battle of the foods type thing and what the real meaning of food is for people here in prison. What do you got to substitute that with? I have the chili cheese corn chips. That'll work. Going through this class, it's so different than everything else. It's like such a new eye-opening experience for me. All feeding on its energy. We really become a big fan. He keeps a fork on him everywhere he goes. I do, man. I think a sport you never know is somebody Whoa, might be like, man, put that away. That's a hippie right there. Make sure that all the equipment stays together, OK? I want the safety and everything. I don't want nothing disappearing down there. The dorms are really open settings. I've been talking to you a little low. So everybody's got the same thing to work with. And you got to make something happen out of what you got. Well, you know, it's like it's kind of looking at your locker when you don't have much to work with. Make something happen. It looks good. Get ready then when they finish to uh, re start recapturing. I'm gonna go when you tell me. Go. Good morning. Welcome, Agent. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, each dorm has around 200 inmates um, li currently living in these dorms. We're gonna go into dorm five at this time. You guys have your work cut out for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. These are uh, going to be scorecards that we're going to be using. This is like a category for, for taste and for presentation and creativity. All right, let the games begin, huh? Most people in that dorm never really started cooking anything before they got to prison. And now they found themselves in a situation where it's like they had to need and it created the ingenuity to do it. This right here is uh, angel hair pasta with a mimic of uh, the Alfredo sauce. It's got your grated cheese, it has a little bit of milk, some olive oil. And just a pinch of lemon juice. Good. The thing I wanted to do with this whole project is bring everybody together. Because for for me, I, I really find that cooking kind of dissolves all kind of boundaries, borders, and like what's going on right here is actually pretty unique. Because normally we wouldn't have as diverse a range of, of people all eating the same same food together. So this is actually really great. Not so bad. Well, man, you're you're eating, man. You can do both. I just saw you do both. Eat and do sound. The majority of the stuff I want to try to get is going to be smaller frames of everybody as they work. That way we have a coverage of everything that's going on there. So have you had a chance to try everybody's? Oh, no, were they done already? Yeah, yeah I think Pete was uh, pretty good. In a couple minutes, we're going to have uh, some decisions from the, from the judges, because they're going to they're gonna let you guys know what they thought of all your food, and uh, we're going to have a winner. Well, I have to say that I have never been a part of such an amazing you know, panel of really unique cooks. I mean, just never. And for you to have the ability to make delicious food with sort of salty packaged items is really amazing. Whenever you guys need a job, I mean, I'd hire each of you in a nanosecond. I really would. It's just amazing. You guys can tell you have it right here, right here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much for coming. Absolutely. That was the bomb. We got a lot of good footage. But on that same note, there's too much footage. Now I gotta dig through, which is a good thing, but you know, it's gonna be a challenge in the amount of time. Are these supposedly fish? Hey, man, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I'm not an artist, like that. There's my dead fish. We got the X's and the I's. <laughs> hey. My film is about a series of dams along the Klamath River in Northern California and Southern Oregon. All right, good guys. Thank and it's going to focus on how these dams have stopped uh, the salmon from going to native spawning grounds and how that has affected the native culture and that have lived along these rivers. Uh, thanks for having us. Hey, you know, no problem. You know, uh, thanks for coming down. I know it's a long drive. I don't mind speaking out about things I believe in, but I'm not very good at it. You know, I stutter a lot and everything, but. Y'all, this class has helped me with that a little bit. 
it's opened my mind up to a lot of possibilities I thought like maybe I couldn't have. Robin, Ron, Chip Walker Mansion. Kadoop. Uh, I was going to uh, film him, an interview with him, and, and I was wanting to film in front of ceremonial grounds. I just want to ask, you know, see if that was all right. You can film on the other side of the fence. Yeah. But what I'm going to do is talk to uh, Hector Frank, who's the spiritual advisor here, and clarify it with him. Yeah, I'm looking for the Native American uh, advisor. Yeah. He's holding service in the back of the, of the yeah, death row chapel. You want to write down a message to him, and I'll walk over there and, All right. and see what he agrees to? After film crews requesting to film the grounds as a background for documentary, yes, no, Robin. Okay. We're going to go into death row. This is our largest death row in uh, California and ask the Indian spiritual advisor for permission to go to the sacred ground. I'll be right back. It's like kind of ironic we're here at San Quentin because these people have a direct relationship with Native American families back on the river yeah. or back wherever they come from. We need to fix the people here so when they do get out, they can come out with a sense of fulfillment that, you know, they have some obligations, some responsibilities that need to take care of. They can join us. They get packed back in. That's right, you know, and, and, you know, and I think that, that's a strength that is going to mean a lot to modern society yeah. as a whole. We got approval to use the uh, Indian reservation, so that's good. He's allowed to go on the grounds. It's about time you did something, Evans. Hey, hey you want to go on with him? You gotta go like this, cause oh, we're, my bad. we're uh, HD now, man. Okay, we're, we're HD, HD now. Huh? Yeah, see, this is standard D. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna do an injustice for only six minutes, man. I feel a little emotional right now, man. Uh, okay, so we're rolling. What kind of feelings do you experience when you think about even the possibility of the cho your, your, your children, your grandchildren, growing up and the salmon not being there? Salmon is the keystone feature in the Klamath River Basin. When the salmon go away, people go away. If we take care of the salmon properly by the way the Creator has dictated to us in the beginning, everything else in this world will be taken care of. We don't take the dams out. We don't take care of each other. We don't take care of our babies, our elders, the resources we need. This is the last generation. Thank you. I got some footage today I requested. And, uh... I'm going to be busy right. <laughs> going through all that good footage. It's beautiful. So, OK, um, let's go inside. There's a oh, dam getting busted down. Hour, it's it's pretty good stuff. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff. There's just so much. You got you to gotta zero in on exactly what your story arc is. You know, there's like, yeah. there's like more stories to tell than you're going to have Yeah, time. exactly. That's, that's what I'm experiencing. I got a storyboard written out how, how I kind of wanted to go. We're gonna have to put you right to work when you get home. Okay, good. And I'm sure when I get hey, out of here, I, I wouldn't say we'd be able to pay you. Oh. <laughs> oh, here it is, here it is, yeah. Just a giant fish. Great roll. All right, all right. Can, can I give my friend these guys hug? What? No, no, these are handshakes. Handshakes? Yeah. Evans. You're out in the open. I know. All right, bro. See. Hey, thanks a lot. Uh, no problem. Thank thanks you guys for coming down here. Drive safe right, home, man. Guys. Thanks all a lot, right. guys. All right, Bob, I'm sad, Bob, please, right now, I'm feeling weepy. I'm gonna go ahead and walk this way. I feel like, like a major part of my last year's been a big waste of my life, and and I got taken away from something, and I could have been doing a lot better, you know. But this class is good, though. At least now it's giving me a skill that I can apply to uh, something even more bigger. So, yeah, so I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little sad right now. <laughs> But it's cool though, man. I, I get out in a month and then six month weeks, man, so no problem. Man. What you do? He's taking his time, man. He's taking his time. He's taking his time. He's not here. I'm leaving today, and then, yeah, it's the last day in St. Cruz. Yeah. I thought I was gonna get deported. I thought I was gonna get another chance to stay here. But, you know, the council called me, the immigration came and saw me, so I'm like, oh, I'm definitely not getting away from INS. Yeah,
So on Friday when they told me, you know, you're leaving on Tuesday, bro. You're gonna leave on, t on, on Tuesday, watch. I was like, all right, it's normal now for us. You know, we know we're coming to a country that's not of our own, so we're exposed to that. Especially after we commit a crime, you know, so. What can you say? It's okay. I should now be in Tijuana in the last couple of weeks eating some tacos and, and a beer. Whatever it is, you know, as long as it's not in prison, I'm okay with it. What I hear from the guys, you know, it's just the rumors that they take you to Centinella or Calipatria, you know, on a bus or on a plane. And then from there, you finish doing your state time, be a judge, you want to fight your case, or if you don't want to fight it, and then if you don't want to fight it, then they'll shoot you out here the same day. As far as dates and times and everything, we don't have that right now, but we'll get all that for you. And I think so. <laughs> you bet. You're out of here. Give me permission to take care. Stay more on the right path. Stay out of here. We'll be part of the solution rather than part of the problem. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. I just gotta miss this class, man. My project. Is here waiting, man. What do you have to say for yourself? I had to take that phone. I had to use phone. And you had to take a shower after? We've it been was five minutes for a shower. We've been waiting since 7:30, man, for you. Look at the time right now. It's almost nine o'clock. This is your shot. Right. Hey, man, you only got an hour to shoot like six scenes. Right. You're not gonna get everything you need, man. You know that, right? And you did this to yourself, man. You know that, right? Yeah. I want you to apologize, man, to the crew here, man, because we've been waiting, Sorry, bro. Sorry, Lonnie. Sorry, Troy. Troy! He didn't even hear that, man. Heard it. Go and tell him, man. Yeah, I'm not going to go there and tell him, man. I said, sorry, I got some stuff on my own I got to deal with. If you want to do a class, I'll go back to hey, man, man, this is your film. Yeah. We're here for you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand that, but you got to We'll make me. the film happen. Right. Make the film happen. Yeah. I got it right now. Esta está bien, pero deme otra, otra, no saco otra. Es que ella va a ir cruzando la frontera. ¿Me entiende? Algo más mexicano, algo más. The title of my film is Black Roses. It's a story of a young couple, a tragic change in their lives, forcing a wife to come to the United States. This was around the 1968. Things were really bad. There was no unions. There was no women rights. There was nothing. We, we didn't have nothing. We didn't have many rights. So they went to Mexico City a couple of days before the Olympics, and they protested, right? 15,000 people, students, young high school students, you know? And out of the blues, tanks, grenades came and they killed 2,000 students. Just people running everywhere. They were 18-year-olds, 17-year-olds, you know? And you know, no one did anything about it. So it was a real tragic episode in, in our in our country that happened. You gotta keep doing this when you go down, man. When you're down south, don't stop doing this stuff. You've got an eye for this stuff, man. It's beautiful. My film 68, the students, you know that like I, I, I heard about my dad talking about that, you know, how it was they were going, you know, changes in the system, you know, changing the ways. And that was something so passionate for me. That that was me. And this really taught me how to get my emotions out. And that was a whole new experience, you know. And now I know that. It's like, I think I have a chance of helping some people out in my country, you know. Esto lo que estamos actuando, reviviendo pasó en 68. Lo que estamos haciendo es para que la gente sepa que pasó esto, que esto pasó. Hay que clavarnos en el momento. Estudiantes y maestros salieron a marchar. son las 11, brother. Vale, vámonos, vámonos. Y, y hay que hacer esto y, y la otro, ¿me entiendes? Vámonos. vámonos. A, ¿por, qué no, ¿Por qué no filmamos vámonos. esta? Ok. La filmamos. Vámonos, pues. Roll, let's roll. Yo todavía no. Nadie, hold on. I'll tell you when I roll. Troy. Nadie. Oh. Uh. Así está la cosa, mira. El diálogo va a estar entre ustedes dos. 
Escúchenme. Quiero, quiero que tú hables. ¿Por qué? Soy el director. ¿Grabamos esta? ¿Estás listo? Yo voy a empezar a tocar, ¿eh? Cuando digas acción, yo voy a empezar a... Acción. Today, there's a lot of adrenaline going on. I feel like when I was stealing sometimes, like when I go to the warehouse, uh, you feel that adrenaline, you know, you have to get like pressure, pressure, adrenaline, you know. I felt the same, like the same, but in a good, it's a feeling that, you know, you did something good for a difference, so it feels real good. Cut it. That was nice. Oh, I want to. Trovador, el trovador, el trovador. Hey, Pepe, so the lady's coming where? Uh, any time now, man. Right, so, but she's coming. Yeah. All right, all right. As far as I know, So let me get everything set up right yeah. now. Thanks, Troy. And this is just the beginning. We still got to get some more done, so. Eat your lunch and hurry up and get back out. <laughs>
Good job, man. You did it. You did it, man. Thanks. You made a movie. <laughs> it's a hard job being an actor, man. And director. And director. No, and no. being in prison. And rich, man. And getting deported tonight. Thank you. Yeah. What's going to happen with you tomorrow, man? Because I know you, you're going, you going, but I'm saying, are they going to cut you loose when you get over there? How long you got to stay? Are you going to stay in jail or what? I don't know. I just want to get, I just want to go back home. Oh, just get back home? Yeah. Are you going to keep in touch with everybody here, man? Man, I, I ain't happy I'm leaving. I really am not. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I mean, I'm happy I'm leaving, but... Man, you guys just, all the love you guys showed for me today and all the support to do my thing. It made me feel like, like I hadn't felt in a long time. I don't know, it's mixed emotions because you want to leave, but it's like, man, I want to stay and I want to I wanna see Kenny's thing, how he ends up, you know? I want to get more criticism from Lonnie, you know? People, you know, giving me stuff, you know? And I was thinking, man, at least they're looking at me, you know? I, they, they do that because they, they, they care for me, you know? I take back what I say, it's not fake, man. This class is real, man. Yeah. I don't know. Get your, um... Yeah, that's stuff. Yeah. I'll talk to you for a second. Yeah. Oh, they're taking you now? Uh-oh. No, no, no. Damn, they're not leaving. Am I leaving? Is he, is he, are you taking away? We might have a couple of dollars. Let the white people go! Uh, from a good source? A good source for your homeboys? Yeah. How would your homeboy know? How would you work? I can't say. I don't know. Can't say. We don't release that information for security reasons, bro. I don't miss a lot about it. Ernesto is a real talented young man. I mean, very, very talented. He's a little high strong and a little all over the place with his talent, because it hasn't been honed and developed yet, but that youngster got it. He just has some unique ways of looking at things, and that, that uniqueness that he portrays on camera translates into his whole being. And that's what I'm gonna miss about him, man. He's able to see this, this beauty in simple things. That innocence is still there mm -hmm. in him. Mm -hmm. That's just a unique guy. Ernesto might get a break, man. man. I don't think he's getting transferred. Huh? Just, just be me. Just oh. be it. Look. Hey, weirder things are happening around here. Oh. What's going to happen, the way the process is, is that you'll, you'll be released. The INS or Homeland Security, they'll either be on your actual parole date on January 14th. It can be either five days before that or five days after. But in terms of 30 days or a month and a half before your actual parole date, that's not going to happen. They're not coming to pick you up tomorrow. But how do you know my CDC number and all my You are first server, right? Yeah. OK. This is the deal. Everybody knows that you're involved in this project or whatever the case may be. And I can see someone sitting back and taking a look and saying, Hey, let's pull his shade a little bit. Let's 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 put our story into his story. So there's you... no hole right now. There's nothing. There is a hole. But there's nothing more. There is a hole. Yeah. You do have an eye in this hole. However, in terms of you getting on a bus and going anywhere, that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna kick his ass as soon as I can. <laughs> I don't go. I don't go kick nobody. Kick ass, man. It just didn't happen. Just bad info. I just have to. Hurt I kind of want it to go though, man. I hate it. <laughs> All right, it's OK. I don't know, man. Oh. We have some uh, news. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Stay. Oh, oh, man. He called it. We have nothing to do with it. Yeah. Uh, but, but from now on, though, I man. I love you guys. I, I'm done with my thing. I hope you guys do your thing. Ah. Uh, <laughs> he did. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just to make it clear, there's no way I'm getting picked up tomorrow, right? That's what Sam said. I mean, I... Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's forget about it. Let's just yeah. forget it. Today we get a, a special guest who's going to talk to you uh, 
about acting and maybe work a little bit with Troy and his actors. And uh, I think uh, I think you'll recognize him. I don't have. Uh, nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. Yeah, I don't have anything to say, y'all. So, so, <laughs> so, so, um, whatever questions you have, just ask them, and I'll I'll do my best to answer as 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 best I can. You know. In your own opinion, what's the best way to break into the business? No matter what direction you come at it from. I don't think there's any substitute for learning and maintaining craft. And I tend to think that that will enable you to stay in the business and have a real career as opposed to doing one shot here and one shot there. But I would suggest to you that at a certain point, we all must become more responsible, directly responsible for the work that we put out and start telling your own stories. I'm just curious about some of the real world uh, challenges producing independent films, and if you could kind of help elaborate on that Absolutely. a little bit. Because I think we all really are very interested in that here. People are now putting out film through the internet. You know, you don't have to depend on the traditional avenues to get your work out there. Investigate as many avenues as possible for expression for your work. Because until you attain a certain level of success, nobody will be paying attention to you. But if you achieve a certain kind of success, that's when people start paying attention to what you're doing. For me, that's something that I want to do, is get in that position to be able to, to put my voice out there, to put something that, that, that's close to me, close to my heart. And tell stories that you uh, feel are important to, that I feel to tell. It starts with just creating the work and finding partners, finding people to work with who believe in what you believe in. The first thing you have to come to terms with is most people are going to tell you no. You've got to be able to get your head around rejection because a lot of, uh, there's a lot of rejection in this industry. Most people are telling you no. And you have to say yes to yourself, first and foremost, and then you have to find other people who will say yes to your work. We're going to go up to North Block in a second yeah. and finish uh, shooting the scene with Troy. Uh, Troy has a scene and some of the actors are here. Good. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna try to do that, man. Yeah, absolutely. I'm calling you Asian, man. <laughs> All right. I need a job. I, you know, I'm mad. You're looking for a director. There's nine of them here. I'll, I'll, You're listen, 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 let's see what they got. Oh, man. That's the man, man. That's the man. That's the man right there, man. Right here, brother. I love you, brother. That's up. That's on my ducky. I know it's all you moving, brother. Hey, hey, you know what? I'm going to count right here. No, 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 count it. I'm going to count it right there. Get in the shot, y'all. Get in the shot. Tell me about your film. It's called Absence. Absence. Uh huh. And um, it's a story about the absence of a father. Yeah. Okay. So this is based on yourself. Yes. Oh, okay. well, absolutely. Because my father, he was there physically, but he was physically there, but he was not physically emotionally. Not emotionally. You know, and, but also in dealing with that, I also look at how my absence has affected my own daughter's life. And so, so it's a continuum now. It's a continuum, exactly. A feeling of rejection that hurt. It later turns into anger. You know, and then turns uh, into negative. This self-destructive behavior. Right. Scene two, shot four, take one. Action! Go. I want to take our experiences and turn them into something positive. I want to take the things that we've been through and prevent people who may be in that scenario from going there. What's that? y'all pressure me. Straight pressure. I want people to realize that some of the things that we've done in our past were wrong. They pressure you, they kind of push you back, you know, over here in the corner, like back over here, and then they're gonna take you down. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But, but the angle of the camera, you're not gonna, you know, he's not gonna really come nowhere near him, but he's gonna, he's gonna be, a, he's gonna throw a swing. He's gonna throw a swing? Yeah. All right. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Let, let me, yeah. Damn. Hey, um, in this scene, we show like a little, a little drama, and the guys are gonna like grab each other. No. Okay. 
not with me, uh, maybe Sam, but uh, as far as I know, they told me no, no promoting of violence, no violence. And no way in hell I'm promoting violence. I don't, that's not, the whole thing is to show in the end of the script, like all this drama that this guy's been through has been in his head and due to his own mishaps. His whole dysfunction is because of what's going on inside of his head. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, oh, it's just yeah, that I'm not real comfortable yeah. with that. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, that's a little above my decision making. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. So as far as where my decision making goes, that's that's no. Well, I don't know what to do then. Hey. I'm gonna ask you some questions, but it's just gonna be casual conversation, man. Just me and you, you know, act like the cameras ain't even here, dog. Can you explain a little bit about Oakland, California, please? In Oakland, it's rough. The streets of Oakland are rough. Mm -hmm. My documentary is called Landmines. It's about post-traumatic stress disorder. It's about war veterans and urban minority youth in America, about those who go untreated and those who are diagnosed. When you say rough, you mean like hard to get a job or violence? Both. Has anyone related to you been killed in Oakland? Yes. I know quite a few people in Oakland that has been killed. How does that make you feel? Emotionally and mentally, I'd never be the same. Do you think you need help? Yeah. Yes, I do I need help. Do you know a post-traumatic stress disorder? No, you know I know anything don't. about that? No. You think you might want to know <laughs> what it is? Sure. Marvin, understand that your voice may not be in it, but you're not going to have the benefit of your question, because with your question, an answer like, it's really tough on the streets, would make sense. Their voice is going to carry it, and not yours and, and, and his. Ever since my crime, I've taken a lot of things seriously. I can't bring the person back, but I can show his family, his children, that what happened wasn't in vain. That what happened to the, their son, his father, their brother, it sparked something within me, and I'm trying to spark something within the community so it won't happen again. And that's the only thing that I can do. Can we do it all over again? Yeah. Um, earlier in the interview, I asked you, you know, how seeing all this violence in Oakland affected you. And I have another question for you. How do you think you're going to die? Never know. Never know. But honestly, probably by gunfire. Yeah, gunfire. Never be satisfied. You couldn't have been satisfied with the answers in the first no, interview. You, you had to be disappointed, but you reworked them. Mm -hmm. So you got really good answers there that will help with the few that you got before. In the beginning, it was hard. It was hard to get something out, but it's like when we put a little more pressure onto it, you got. I got the, the best content that I was looking for. It's not really a, like a fight scene, but it's like showing the guy's self-destructive behavior. Okay. And um, the scene I had set up take place right here, and they just gonna kind of push up on the guy, real tough guy. Like, okay. They don't. They don't. I can't take it anywhere beyond that because of the prison setting. Okay. So is is the issue here that there is violence in the scene, but that there are ground rules about what you can show, and what, you, what you can do, and what you can't do. Yes. Okay, very here's, here's, here's something right here. What you can do is show the result of the violence. If you've got one person striking another, you don't show that, but you can show him banging up against the wall. Yeah, they don't, they don't want me to do that. Can't do yeah. that either, huh? Because anybody hitting the wall is an act of violence, oh, period. Okay. And anybody up here can misconstrue it. Uh, and not knowing what we're doing down here, some guy just gets up and sees some guy flying up on the wall, he's gonna start screaming. And that's gonna alert the whole Oh, unit. I see. So we gotta be very careful what we do. So if the scene takes place here as opposed to out here, does that, uh, do they have a little bit more leeway as far as physically what they can do if nobody can see it? 
I can call and find out. What's he trying because, to do? Well, he wants, he wants to do a physical touching. So. If he were to uh, go up against the wall here where nobody could see it, could they shoot? So, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Could they shoot the scene right he here? Can bump yeah. up on the wall. They shoot it here. Okay. Shoot it right here. And doesn't show anybody doing it. Just, just him doing it. Just the reaction. Yeah. The reaction. Let me see. Just walk by each other. Don't touch each other. And then when you do that, you turn around. And then. Yeah, then y'all just, and then we'll cut there. That's okay, right? You want it? All three of them just gonna get around and push them, not push them, no, not yeah, push them, yeah, yeah, not yeah, yeah, strong yeah. word. They're gonna act the scene against you know, the wall. just gonna follow them. Okay, right all right. Yeah. Yeah. Action! What's up with you, man? Ready? Ready. 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 Dear Tori, I am writing this letter because I hope it will give you some insight as to why I allowed myself to be taken away from you. Coming to prison was a struggle. I mean, it was hard at first. I, a lot of frustration, you know, anger. But I never wanted to resort back to the person that I was before. Because it's like I knew that I had a purpose in life. I knew that I was meant to do something great with my life. I just didn't know what. From the top. It's my father, man. He ain't never been there for us, man. That's why I've been angry all this time, man. My father. You can give a child all the material things in the world, but if they don't get your time, it hurts. So I, I always write my daughter. I know there is no excuse for my absence. I love you, and I'm sorry that you had to grow up without me. I miss just being there every day for when she get home out of school, you know? One of the hardest moments for me was to get this letter from my daughter. Wow. Man, God, please, please let my daddy out of jail. And then she tells me she's about to cry. Wow. <laughs> Woo. That's hard. That's, that's hard. This was in 1998. She's still wanting to know when her daddy's coming home. By this time next week, your films need to be done. Because we're going to show them, we're going to screen them on Thursday. Part of being a filmmaker is sharing your work and going through that experience of actually screening your work and getting the feedback from an audience. You wouldn't be a filmmaker unless you had that experience. So keep that in mind. That screening is a week from tomorrow. Salmon is a keystone feature in the Clowns River Basin. When the salmon go away, people go away. And these agreements manifest themselves as rewards or consequences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you weave it together, it's all going to work out good. But for right now, just take all the best stuff that you know you're going to want. How do you think you're going to die? Honestly, probably by gunfire. Yeah, gunfire. Oh, that's good, man. Yeah, I want that to be like the end of the whole piece. Yeah, definitely. And don't sweat the choppiness of it yet. We're going to de-chop it. Those cooking montages are nice and they're satisfying, but if there's a good piece of music and they really cut to the music, they'll just, they'll be so much better. This is my final step, you know? This is my final step. Dia dos de octubre It's what you live through, man. It's what you
live through that makes you the person, the character that you're gonna be. It's what you live through. You have to go through something to become something. And I know what I carry inside me. I know what to do, right? So that's why I always wanna try to get in my films, always part of me. Otro cachito, while we're all filmmakers in this room now. how do we use it in a responsible way live this moment up man because not too many people have ever had this opportunity man this can change my whole entire life truth is i want to change man this is the strangest film i've ever been to <laughs> <laughs> 